Christian Family Radio. This is Money Mindset with our friends at Lockshill Partners, helping you see money as a tool, not just a goal. Good morning, Dan Klein. We're always thankful that you are a part of the show. Listen, credit score. There, there's a lot about that that we don't quite understand. Right. And we felt like Lock Shield could give us the panoramic view. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's start from the opposite side, which is put yourself in the position of lending somebody money. And the credit score is a quantitative, a number, a score, a way for someone to assess how likely is this person going to pay me my money back. Mm. Okay. And it affects a lot of things. Um, most obvious sometimes people think of is just, am I going to get credit? And I think the top score is 850. Um, different things ping your credit. Let's start with what are good things for your credit score. Mm -hmm. Paying on time, not borrowing too much. Um, and then there's things that people don't think about, like if I'm late with my cell phone bill, or if I'm late, there's a lot of different ways your credit score can get pinged by that ping, ding. Yeah, penalized or did penalized. You know, you lose some points. You know? Right, right. Because <laughs> it seems like any big purchase that we make these days, it's always like, hey, we're going to run your credit. Mm -hmm. You know, so what? How, how does that kind of go into the equation of what our credit score is? Yeah, so again, if you, if you think of it from the, if you are the one lending your money, mm -hmm. if somebody every other week is inquiring about borrowing money, that's just going to set off a little red flag. It doesn't mean once a year, once every two or three years in a normal course of maybe I'm buying a car, maybe I'm refinancing my house, that's normal. But if it's every two or three weeks, that score is just going to reflect that frequent request for credit. Now, for somebody who doesn't know what their credit score is, I mean, there's lots of ads on, you know, websites and social media of, hey, get your credit report for free. Like, who can we trust that that is going to give us the right information without costing us or hindering our credit score at, at, at most? Yeah, sure. And, and, and we'll cover that in, in a later session. All right. <laughs> but it's you are legally able to get three free credit reports a year. And if you Google free credit report, that will pop up for you. If you want to learn more about this week's topic, head on over to our website, christianfamilyradio.com, or visit our friends at lockshieldpartners.com.